y me platicaban que mi, idea, mi gran pu, nomás se levantaba en la mañana y, y cantaba. Mm -hmm. And he would sing y decía, ya viene llegando el día, ya viene saliendo el sol, le damos la bienvenida a Jesús el Redentor. Cuando era el cerrito como all around, tú sabes, de la loma, mm -hmm. Y el camino estaba, y la otra, sac, sacaban el gallo. You know what gallo means? Los músicos, with the little kids, uh, the boys, you know, uh -huh. y muchas veces grandes también, cantaban y sabíamos nosotros que iba a haber baile, ¿ves? Porque todo, todo cantaban y... En la guitarra, ¿ves? Y cuando cantaban, pasaba la, la música de la casa de nosotros. Happy. Vivir en el cerrito. <risa> It was happy times. Pues sí, mi papá tenía muchos arriba de... de 30, 30 árboles de, de fruta, ¿ves? Uh -huh. Poníamos, juntanos, poníamos manza en durazno. Lo, para el 4 de julio lo poníamos en canastos, nosotros uh -huh. y en papá, ¿ves? No cuente tu tisidoro, <ríe> ayudando. Ayudando a todas las muchachas, ¿ves? Uh -huh. Y tu tisidoro, y al papá. La troca, una troca grande tenía mi papá. De... And, uh, but for Christmas, he get them and he said, let's go. But the week before Christmas, and they go cut trees. Y venían y hacían una luminaria grandota. Las ponían a menos del cerrito y hacían lumbre. Ponían como tres grandes. Uno right by the church, otra en medio del cerrito y otra en another spot there. Y luego Christmas Eve la llenaban de leña y le prendían. Y that was a luminaria that we all go to midnight. No midnight mass, pero tenían los, uh, decoraban, the, the ladies would decorate the church with Christmas trees and, and that. And, uh, y luego uh, cantábamos en hymns, hymns, y dije, vamos todos a Belén. And the girls, they're singing, you know. Vamos todos a Belén mm -hmm. con amor y gozo. You know? And uh, so that's how we used to, to go, you know. But it was very pretty there for Christmas. Everybody was and happy. Kids, and the kids used to go a bit or demos in Las Christmas in Eve. Yeah. Christmas Eve. Venían, después de que venían de misa, de la iglesia, the boys, the young boys, como 13, 12, 14 years old, agarraban un saco y iban a pedir oremos, house to house. Yeah. Y dice, oremos, oremos. Puertas y ventanas, de oremos. Nos casamos en Vía Nueva. ¿Ves? Uh -huh. Un lugarcito cerquita del cerrito, uh -huh. ¿ves? Y en la iglesia. Yo, otro día, nos fuimos, eh, agarramos el, el, el tren para Lorsberg, para allá trabajaba en la mina Tudari, uh -huh. y allá trabajaba en la mina, trabajó él en la mina y. Y arrentó una casita y 
están yo y el sol. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you a little story that my mom used to tell us. That there was, they used to do the El Enjarre on the church. You know, the women, the women used to do it. And one time, one fall, my grandmas and uh, them were doing the Enjarres Aguera of the, of the church. And there was this tiny little lady that was always mad. She always used to, she used to live like out of a cerrito, you know, on a little houses out there out of the cerrito. But they used to come to the cerrito of the church. So all the ladies that belonged to the church, they would do the inside and out of the church to clean it. So this time they were, around this time, they were up, tiraron los enjarres, hicieron enjarres nuevos outside, you know. So they were on a ladder or whatever. So this viejita was mean and not, she was kind of, uh, anyway, she fell and fell right on the mud. And all the ladies started to laugh, you know, because she fell in mud. She was mad and went home mad, you know, because anyway, the next day, the night, the night, my grandma couldn't sleep and she had the, the, she had the fireplace, you know, in the corner of her house. <laughs> and it was the wood, you know, was making the, the uh, burning wood in there, I guess it was cold. And, and my grandma couldn't sleep, I guess she was tired, you know, couldn't sleep. And uh, she looked at her and towards the fire like that, and she seen that little lady staring at her, you know, oh, no. right there by the fireplace, standing there by the fireplace. And my grandma was kind of tough, and she, you know, and the more she looked at her, the more she looked like that little lady. <laughs> so she gets up out of the bed, and she always had like a club here by her bed, you know, of that, because my grandpa could care less. He was too good. And she says, Que Nuestra Señora de los Desamparados te dio una friega por venir a espantarme. Oh, dear Lord, yeah. Okay. So the lady, the, the, the viejita disappeared mm -hmm. from there. Well, next day, the viejita was all beat up. Oh, you know, they wow. said that the viejita, that was mean. Que dijo la gente que no venía a enjarrar porque estaba toda golpeada. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, witchcraft. Yeah. Well, not, yeah. that's the way it was. La persona esa que dijo desemparada, o como dijo esa, la, es la, la, la dueña de la, la, la iglesia la, de San yeah. Cerrito, yeah, the patron. The patron saint of saint yeah. del Cerrito. Le dijo que Nuestra Señora los dos amparados yeah. te dio una friega por venir a asustarme aquí. Y, dijo, y otro día estaba la viejita estaba golpeada. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh -huh. Arreglamos bien la casa, uh -huh. muy bonita. Y luego nos fuimos para Antarrita. ¿Por qué? Por buscar trabajo en tu rampo. ¿Ves? No había trabajo, uh -huh. nomás en la mina. Y si no, y si no trabajaba en la mina, iba, tenía que ir al army. ¿Ves? Uh -huh. eh, si no quería ir el al army. ¿Ves? Estaban, a él le dijeron, pasó la examinación y todo, todo, todo rampo. Uh -huh. y, y dijo, estoy trabajando en la mina, pero la mina es metal y hacían, hacían bombas, ¿ves? Con metal, uh -huh. ¿ves? 
y ahí trabajaba él. 1944, acá dijeron, se acabó la guerra, uh -huh. hoy en el radio. Ahora sí, dijo, dale, me voy para el rancho, me voy para el rancho, ya no, <risa> ya no trabajo en la mina. Uh -huh. es, y nos fuimos. Well, he used to tell us stories about the, the chicos. The chicos were like little elves, like oh, little okay. elves. And uh, different little stories. He used to tell us that there was a, this bunch of little uh, fachicos that lived there with the families, you know. Mm. I guess like mice, you know, yeah. in a home. But they were little fachicos, they used to call them. But one day, this little fachico told the other one, he says, let's go to the grapes. And go get some grapes. So they all went to the grapes and, and they said they were going to go hunt the grasshoppers. So while they were there, uh, one of the chicos, they said, Aquí estu no, aquí estu no. Saw a grasshopper on top of his head. <laughs> so he got his gun and shot him, you know. It was probably like a, one of them guns that have like a cork in the end, you know, mm -hmm. stick that would fly <laughs> over there, you know. Anyway, uh, it, instead of hitting the grasshopper, le vio al fachico y se mató, se lo y corrió la sangre. Lo llevó el patrón y le dice, mira, dice, que sangre tan negra. Y dice el fachico from the hiding, where he was hiding, de tanto comer joa. No. Ah, tonto, le dice, si no me has dicho, no te mato, no te jaio. Le dice el otro, por eso yo no hablo. <laughs> por eso yo no hablo. And uh, so he found them all there, you know. But <laughs> they hadn't opened their mouth, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he found all of them. He gave himself up. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the other fachico. They lived in the house with the family. And up on top of the roof of the house, they had, that's where they used to save the cheese. And they used to have a little opening, like a little door there on the top. And uno de los fachicos le dice al otro, mira para allá, le dice, ah, tienen el queso. Si yo te cuido, sube para ahí, nos traes queso. Pero el fue chico, corrió para arriba y, and he was trying to climb into the door cuando este fue chico estaba cuidando de que no lo viera nadie ahí de la familia. Y le dice, mano fue chico, está la quesera, esconde la pata, la tiene de fuera. <laughs> So, you know, we found him up with the legs sticking out. Yeah. <laughs>